Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Agian and these are some of the top stories we have for you tonight. Four people killed on St. Thomas makes it a bloody weekend. Does the Justice Department mean just us? And a VI senator is punched in the face. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. In our top story tonight, four people have been killed over the weekend on St. Thomas. News Channel 8's Lee Carl files this report. Here at the conference room at the Federal Justice Complex, an important press conference today, combining all of the information regarding the Mother's Day weekend, which has been a pretty tragic one. The police department responded to a number of items right up until today. The police were out there. Here is the press conference. Uh, yesterday afternoon, or uh, last evening, at approximately 7.37 p.m., uh, police were notified by an off-duty officer that shots were being fired in the area of the Dana Mart cockpit area of uh, Brookman Road, Nada. Uh, call sh followed shortly after that, indicating that a number of in individuals were shot and injured. Police responded along with the medical, uh, emergency medical technicians. One individual uh, died on the, in the, on the scene. Uh, and the uh, other one who was transported via private vehicle to Royal Lester Snyder Regional Medical Center uh, shortly later died at the hospital. Two other individuals who were also uh, in the vehicle uh, received uh, gunshot wounds also, but uh, at this time they're in stable condition at the hospital. On May 7th at approximately 12.40 p.m., uh, police were dispatched to the area of Paul and Pearson Gardens to shots being fired. Upon arrival, it was revealed that two individuals were firing shots at each other. And an off-duty officer who was passing through the area at the time observed when one of the males ran to the area of Building 20 in the Paul and Pearson Gardens community. The suspect, identified as being 18-year-old LaShawn Sadler of Paul and Pearson Gardens, was located and arrested. A firearm, Caltech 9mm Luger, was recovered. A second firearm, a Glock 9mm, was also recovered that afternoon. This investigation is ongoing. Further want to report um, on Sunday, that on Sunday, May, April 18th, the Major Crime Unit on St. Thomas was dispatched to report the death of a minor child at the Bovoni housing community. Upon arrival, it was revealed that Kalia K. Bruno, two months of age, had died earlier that morning. The investigation along with the medical examiner's findings reveal that the infant Bruno died due to a result of neglect and abuse. On May 8th, uh, major crime detectives on St. Detectives on Thomas arrested and charged infant Bruno's parents, 18-year-old Lilia Romo of Nada and 19-year-old Kasim Bruno of Bovoni with murder in the first degree in the death of two-month-old Kalia Bruno. The arrests were based on arrest warrants issued by Honorable Judge Brenda Hall of the Superior Court of the Virgin Islands. Bail was set in amount of $250,000 for Romo and $2 million for Bruno. St. Thomas at the police headquarters. Lee Carl, News Channel. And in other news, a 58-year-old woman is fighting for her life after she was beaten over the head with a fire extinguisher. News Channel 8's Wes Small has this exclusive story. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jerome. We're here at Juan Louis Hospital. We're with family members that are concerned. We're talking about this story. Man accused of hitting woman with fire extinguisher in Cane Bay. Here's what happened. 58-year-old Iola Martin was at her job in Cane Bay when apparently her ex-husband came and repeatedly banged her over the head with a fire extinguisher. Right now, she is hooked up in ICU in very critical condition as she fights for her life. You are family members here. We understand that possibly there's good news on the horizon uh, with her being airlifted out of here, but what would you like the community to know in general about, um, is your aunt, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's my aunt. Um, I really want the ladies out there, you know, women in general, to know that if you are in an abusive relationship, don't stay in it. Let somebody know whether it's the police or the proper authority. Do not stay there and become a victim like my aunt right now because right now she's fighting for her life and, you know. You're feeling it pretty rough. Yeah. Anyone else in the family there would like to get a message out to the community as we pray? 
Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. This is your mom then who was there. What's your name, sweetheart? Laura. Laura. Kirby. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's okay. Um, how's your mom doing right now? She's in ICU right now. Yeah, she's in ICU from Saturday, and she has not responsive. She respond. She do not. She's not speaking. She's not opening her eyes or anything. She's not saying anything. And he and. Were there any signs that the ex-husband would do this horrible thing? To yeah. Her? Yes. You were telling your mom. Were you, were you warning your mom? Yeah, we warned our mom, our mom for for years. We we beg her, please. For years. Mommy, that, please leave this guy alone. This guy is a wicked guy. We would like for you to be here for us. You, you, we don't have it. We we have our aunts and everything, but the same way how she have her mom here today with her, right now, we would like the same thing for us too. And she have we keep on telling her that, and she she just have a cold heart that. She just, every time we tell you something about this guy, she always like, uh, he don't think like that. Don't think like that. Oh, Lara, stop it. Don't do that. I tell her, she, mommy, stop it. If you need somebody to, if you want to live by me, if you want to live by anybody, come by, you have so much kids, eight of us. There are eight of us. And the guy is a wicked. You could always call the crisis center, the women's coalition, and you could always call 911 or Crime Stoppers, 1-800-222-TIPS. Right now, we're all praying for Miss Martin, and we hope she recovers. At Juan Louis Hospital, I'm with a desperate family involving domestic violence for News Channel 8. A terrible tragedy, and there was another pedestrian accident on St. Croix Saturday evening. News Channel 8's Wes Small has that story and a crime story as well. Thanks a lot, Jerome. We're here in the state Richmond area, right across the street from the old hospital, Charles Harwood. It was Saturday night. Uh, just around 6.30 or 7 o'clock, we believe, when we have a couple. Now, details are sketchy. Word from the street, it could have been a father and his daughter crossing the street here, and they were apparently run over. Car hit them pretty bad, and they were taken for treatment at Juan Louis Hospital. But at least the driver stopped, so it was not a hit and run. But I can simply tell you this, that we are experiencing more and more pedestrian accidents. Also, a young man was shot last night as I get into a bit of the crime blotter and mutual homes. We have a 20-year-old man who was shot in his leg. We believe he was shot in his residence. That situation is being looked at. Again, it happened in mutual homes around 2 o'clock this morning. If you know anything about that, you should call 778-2211-911, or you can always call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. And the state Richmond. All I can tell you is please slow it down on the roads, especially as it gets dark. And for you pedestrians out there, please try to make sure you wear light clothing. Look both ways when you cross the street. In the state Richmond, I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.